I can edit this. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I always be able to edit at the beginning, but what's good, YouTube? You know what it is. It's your boy back at it. It's the AM where your boy try to stay slim and never in the gym. Ski! Bah! I'm just having, I'm, it's good energy day. I'm gonna call this video good energy day. Why? Because I was gonna come on here and talk about some negative stuff. Like a whole lot of negative stuff, but I changed my mind because why focus on the negative? Why focus on things that don't matter that's not gonna make anything better in the situation? I would rather focus on the things that are gonna help someone else's situation. Like right now, I've got two artists working on music, perfecting their craft, dropping good beats. I just came from the weight room, I'm feeling good, I got a good workout in, I'm gonna do another workout. It's just good, high, positive energy. And all week, I, I feel like last couple of days, I'm just focusing on all the negative stuff that's going on. There's like so much negative stuff going on in my family, uh, with my friends, the close people I talk to. There's just too much negative stuff going on. This person got this problem, this person got that problem. And it's not, it shouldn't be like that. Since there's so many problems going on everywhere, we should try to be the person that brings light into the situation. So instead of bringing some negativity and talking about what this person did and why they did this, I prefer to come on here and talk about the good in life. Like right now, I really feel like I'm growing even more because I'm back home. I finally got back home, you know, I'm fresh off the championship. We got the job done. I got the first video. I'm, I got ga games three and four. I made a little mini movie of that. And it's up now. But it's fire. I'm working on the part two. But that's fire. Y'all should go check that out. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that one. I really like that one a lot. Um, it just shows the journey. Like, we thought it was going to be one thing. It turned out different. We see the preparation. It's definitely a banger. For me, I enjoy it. And those was like those little things. We was walking on the beach. You know, just good vibes. It's about good vibes. Good vibe summer. That's the trend right now. Good vibe summer. For me. So if you ain't trying to be on the good vibe. Why, bro? Stress. What's, why, why the stress? We don't need the stress. People every day want to bury themselves, but they just don't know how. They just need someone to come in and be like, hey, this is what you need to do. Just take these one, two, three steps. Try it for a week. Try it for one week and see how it makes you feel. How do you feel something different? I have a relative of mine, and I could tell she really... It's something in her letting her, but saying, hey, I need to change something. We all come to that point where it's like we know deep inside we cannot keep neglecting how we feel inside and think everything's okay. Like you start having those feelings like this is not right, this is not okay, I need to change something in my life. I really need to change something and I just don't know how. I just need that first step. I just need somebody to show me how to get to that next step. And I, see, I saw that in her and I was like, you know what? I'm talking to the wrong people. Let me talk to you. Because you want something, you see that I have something that I can help you with. And it's just a natural high of life of enjoying my life. And when a person's not enjoying your life, they're gonna pay attention to a person who is enjoying their life. They just walk to another beat. Because I'm not walking with my head down, walking with my head up. You see somebody walking with their head up, dancing, strutting down the street, you be like, dang, I'm trying to get like them. They look like they're feeling good. Regardless, he be looking crazy, but if he walking to his beat, chilling down the street, you gonna be like, hey, I'll try to get like that. You see somebody else feeling good, that's gonna automatically make you feel good. You can't help it. You wanna be mad, you can be trying to be sorry, but you know, man, I really wanna be feeling good like that. Like, I wanna be in that situation where I just feel good. It takes letting go of the pride. We have so much pride as humans to show I ain't tough and I'm big and nothing affects me. Things affect me. I'll be the first one to say it. I'll get affected by a lot of things that I 
I choose to control. Am I gonna let someone else's negativity control me? Nope. I'm gonna do what I do. I don't care what you say or what you feel about me. I'm gonna do what I do. Because this is how I choose to feel. I was in the gym yesterday. Went and got a little hoop session in. Just on some pull, ran up, pull up, go hoop in the gym. And these guys came up. No, we was trying to wait for the downs. We was trying to wait for the downs. And we ended up running a little four on four on the other side. So we about to play. And the dude, he picked up me and my cousin, which we're the two tallest people out there. We're the only two professional athletes out there. Clearly, but not clearly enough. So he walked up and he was like, okay, I got these two. And it was like, Man, uh, why you get the two big dudes? You gotta spit them up. So one dude was like, nah, height don't matter. <laughs> I looked at him, I was like, it matters over here. <laughs> I got him. I got him. So we playing a little form four. We just got out the car. We lagging around. They come out, beat us the first two games on the form four. So now they feeling good. Yeah, the height don't matter. I told you, I'm on him. Hi, don't. So a couple of people came. A couple of people came. I said, like, okay, let's run the fives. We won like nine straight. <laughs> we won like nine straight. But the best part about it was like, everybody gravitated to where we was at, but they gravitated for the hate. Who was these dudes running the court? They ain't like that. One dude just came on the court. He, for no reason at all, but to just prove his dominance of you not finna score on me, I'm finna foul you before. Like literally, first player, throw it to the basket. Just completely just rakes my whole arm, pulls me down, and then was like, what? That wasn't a foul. Here, you can have it. You can have it, bro. Five of them. Bang, 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 next. He's like, bro, I, I don't come out here to prove no point. I don't even like, I'm not even going to be focusing on playing pickup this season. Like, this season, this offseason to me is straight in the gym, structural work. Like, I'm literally going to be, I wouldn't say technical, but I want to tighten up a lot of things that I've seen from my last season. I always evaluate my last season and go into what do I need to work on going into the next situation to get better. I want to work on my handles. I want to tighten that up. More explosive one two moves to the basket. Work on my finishing at the basket. I feel like I leave myself short a lot of times instead of just punching it. Being more finishing around the basket, work on my floaters and my consistency from three. My mid range has always been there. That's like my bread and butter. I know once I got my mid range, I'm good. Knockdown three point shooter. I shot it at 36 this last season. That's pretty decent compared because I was always around like 25 to 30. And at one point I was shooting it at 50. So people don't like to say what they do, but say what they do as far as basketball, like oh I shot this and stuff. You should look at your percentages and see where you're at so you can improve upon it. If your percentages goes up, then you're improving as a player and if you're not even taking the steps to improve as a player what kind of player are you trying to be i want to improve if it's my percentage if i'm shooting it at 50 from the two i need to be shooting it at 52 53 54 i should continuously try to get better I should. if i if i'm shooting it at 30 percent from the three i need to be shooting it like now i went from like my last season from 28 to 36. So then I go back and look at the summers that I did. What did I do in the summer to improve this much on my three ball? What did I do before this? What was my preparation? I need to analyze those things that made me successful so I can build upon them. Okay, I shot 36 doing this. Then I need to up that. To see if I can now shoot 40 the next season. Doesn't matter. Just miss or made, you gotta be consistent with yourself. So if I'm being consistent, I can improve. Now, I'm always trying to improve. 
we just won the championship, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I was number seven, number seven in eight years. Eight years, I mean, I started playing in 2014. 2014, I started playing in Cibacopa, Mexico. And then I just been on numerous teams over the last eight years. But this, I went in April, April 2014, Cibacopa, Mexico, Nogales. That was my first team officially overseas, and now it's 2000. It's 2022, July, so it's going on my ninth season. Or well, in, that's been eight full years. So they, basically, this is the ninth. Starting the ninth. Yeah, I'm on my ninth right now. But in eight full seasons, I dropped seven. I need more. Consistently get better. I have to consistently get better with it. If I got seven out of eight, I should get eight out of nine. If I set the standard already, I set the standard of who I am. And now that I understand that it's time to get. I gotta improve it. Cause you only got better. And if you like, if you go down and you just stop and I don't win no more. Some people be like, at least you won seven in your career. I would be like, how much more years did I play? And why didn't I win more? Because I've already set the bar. This is the bar. This is the standard. Chip. Every time. I believe every time I go somewhere, it should be a, a championship. Because that's what I, that's all I've ever done. All I've ever done is won championships. So if I don't come in every team I'm a part of, Win a championship, then I feel like the, the job wasn't done. I know all the, all the, a lot of other hoopers would be like, yeah, um, I really say that I go in to win a championship. No, you're going into for a season. You're going to go play the season just to feel, you know, get your stats. Some guys go in just to get their stats, say I'm going here and uh, run my numbers up so I can get a better gig. Everybody's situation is different, but for me, I always think championship. Every every time I'm in the gym, every workout, I'm only thinking, how am I going to perform in the finals? How am I going to perform in the finals? See, if I only focus on how I'm going to perform in the finals, then I know I have to work on everything because I have to get there. So the amount of work to even get there to the finals, I have to put in because you're not going to get the work. You're not gonna get the the reward without putting in the work. You're gonna get the reward. You just have to put in the work. So every time I'm thinking and I'm in my workouts, how am I gonna get this in the finals in these tough situations? What moves do I go to? Because if I'm thinking finals, highest level, everything else gonna flow natural when it's a regular season game and I'm just doing what I normally do, which is think of Fine, uh, finals level competition. Competing at a finals level competition. You have to take that in everything you do in your training. It starts. It starts in your training. It starts in your head. You have to have the finals. I'm going to the finals. And I'm going to win. I'm going to be an integral piece to my team to win. That is the mindset that I have. That you have to have. A championship mind, mindset. I won seven championships in eight years. And if I don't up my level of thinking every year. Because you never know. Which you're going to get there again. I was talking to one of my friends in the uh, in the gym earlier today. And I told him. It's an addiction. To get to that top of the mountain. For me it is. I feel like any player that's great or wants to be great, that has to be your drug. That has to be your addiction. You will do anything that it takes to get to the top of that mountain. And all that is is just the work you put in. The dedication and the real commitment that you take into your craft to get there. Because situations might ha uh, happen. Other things might happen that stop you. Teammates getting hurt or whatever. 
hey, life happens. I understand that. I'm not saying it. But if it's in your hands, you want to walk away from every situation. Say, I did everything I possibly can to get to to help my team win the ultimate goal. Every season, you have to go for the ultimate goal every single time. So you must prepare for the ultimate goal. I don't prepare for the season. I, went, I prepare to win a finals. And when you really take into account what it takes to win the finals, time and time and time and time, literally and time and time again, you got to understand that, you know what? It's my responsibility to work as hard as I can to get back here again. Because I have to show all the people that watches me what it takes to get to this point. I have to be that glimmer of hope for them to say, man, how did you do that? How did you get to that point? What did you have to do? I'm gonna show you. I will tell you exactly what you have to do to get to this point. It's a different type of mindset you must commit to. You have to commit to that type of mindset if you really want to change things. That's the type of mindset you must you must have. If you don't have it, you must adopt it. You must learn. It's not like, oh, you're just born with it. No. It might be in some people's blood. If it's in my blood, I don't know the genetics, of, but I really feel like when you know and you feel it, I looked at my career and I, all I've ever done was win. At any comp any stage that I've been on, I won. In my professional career, I am a winner. And I'm not ashamed to say it. I am a winner. And I understand that. And I need to show what a winner really does by the work that I put in. By the work that I put in. That's all I got for y'all today, man. I was just feeling inspired. I feel in the juice. I was around too much good energy. Weight room, and then I'm watching my cousin and one of my friends, uh, another fellow artist, just come in and they just putting their minds together and creating music. I'm like, I gotta create something. I gotta go get this down on film right now. I gotta have my, I gotta be creating too. When, you, when you're surrounded by that type of energy, it just has to come out you. It has to come out you. It has to be shared. Everything good should be shared. That's really how it is. That's why we have something good so we can share it with somebody else because they feel good. Because it always feels better when everybody feels good at the same time. When your team wins and everybody feel good, you feel extra good because everybody feels good. And that's what we're trying to create. That environment where everybody feels good. That's what we have to do. Till next time. Skip.